We are now looking at borders and shading when it comes to a table. And when you look at this document at first glance, it doesn't look like there's any sort of table. But hang on, look up here. Do we see table tools? Do we see table design? Ah, do you see what's happening over here? I've got my layout as well. So there is some sort of table. And if I click on that icon over there, it shows me where that table is. So let's just go and change the table style so we can actually see what it looks like. Okay, so there's our table. And when it comes out to borders and shading, I'm now going to again highlight this. And I'm now going to be in my table design. Now there are a number of uh, table styles that I can go and choose from by default. That's all here. But I can decide what I actually want to do. So let's take the first row and I'm going to shade that. In other words, I'm going to apply formatting only to that row and I'm basically filling in the background. So let's choose this color over here. And now I've shaded that first row. I can then decide, okay, well, um, I'd like to maybe apply um, shading to that row. Maybe just press control and just select you know, sort of every second row and apply that same shading over there. So immediately now my table has shading in it. So now I want to go and fiddle around with my borders and I'm going to go over here to borders. Um, I can select, you know, that I want all borders or only an outside border. I can do all of those type of things, but I'm going to go down to my borders and shading. And this dialog box is going to give me a number of features for my particular table. And you can see I've got a few options. I've got borders, page border and shading. Now page border, that's for the entire page. I'm not interested in that, but I want to deal with borders. And yeah, I can say, okay, what type of border do I want? Well, I want a grid border. That's sort of the style I want. Let's choose a color. Let's choose the width. We're going to apply it to this table. And when I click over here, I can decide, you know, where I actually want this applied to. Okay. Maybe you want a border that's only on the outside. Maybe you want one that's, you know, going through all the particular grid lines. And then I can click OK. And there you'll see my border and my shading has now been applied to my table.